Hey everybody, how's it going? Welcome back again to Cosmic Culture, the channel where we talk about all major movie and television news, breakdowns, theories, and more. I'm Chris, and what an insane last 24 hours we had where we got both the Snyder Cut and the first episode of Falcon and the Winter Soldier. Some major Marvel and DC happenings, and honestly, it has been so cool to witness and experience both of these very awesome performances and the way they're going to change the future for both of these huge, huge franchises. If you clicked on this video, obviously you know that this is the Falcon and the Winter Soldier ending explained and review reaction video. Later on today, I will be posting my Snyder Cut ending explained and review reaction video. So be sure to return in a few hours and check that one out as well because I truly did love the Snyder Cut. It was a long four hour crazy train ride, but it brought a lot of happiness to me and I think to a lot of DC fans all over. But for now, let's talk about Falcon and the Winter Soldier. If you love to stay up to date on all of this crazy movie and television news happenings, be sure to subscribe to the channel. Also turn on that notification bell so you don't miss any of our daily uploads and check us out on TikTok as we're posting there daily as well. So I loved Falcon and the Winter Soldier. The first episode was so well done. It was like the beginning of any other crazy action-packed Marvel movie. It feels like Iron Man and Captain America both had a baby and here is its product. And honestly, there is nothing not to enjoy from the perspective of a regular Marvel MCU fanboy. In the 45 minutes, they had so many different action-packed scenes and story plot creating lines that it really got me excited for the remaining five episodes left in this series. And of course, it makes me ask a lot of questions like who is going to end up becoming Captain America or will they even carry on the mantle of Captain America after all of this is over? So definitely some questions that come to fan mindsets and obviously the whole theory role starts to come out and we start to wonder where we're headed with this episode and this installment. It is certainly very interesting to see as both Falcon and Bucky are some of the older remaining Avengers left, how they're going to deal with the current problems after the blip has ended. Captain America is gone, Iron Man is gone, and the effects of Thanos' snap are raging all over the world, causing all sorts of upheavals and issues for people who were both here during the snap and people who only just returned. It was confirmed that this is taking place six months after the snap was reversed and that we are still trying to find our place on the Earth after all those who returned made their way back and were trying to figure out what was going on themselves. Keep in mind, and it is important, that both Sam and Bucky were gone during those five years. They both were snapped, and both of them were lost to us while we were doing the rest of Avengers Endgame. So they're on the side of the world that is not really sure what had happened. They just kind of came back, and that was it. So they have their own perspective and their own battles to deal with on top of their own battles of just being regular people. And we do see that in this episode as Sam's trying to figure out how to take care of his family and Bucky's trying to deal with having been fighting in wars for over 80 years without a break. And we see that and it's very prominent and it's cool to see that Bucky is dealing with the skeletons in his closets and Falcon is dealing with everything going on with his family while he's been away and while he's been away helping Captain America. That all gets really dove into in this first episode and it's very cool to see that behind the scenes because usually in these Avengers movies you see the big fight and then it's over and you move on to the next big fight. But now we're trying to see the pieces of everything that's fallen apart after the big fights kind of come to a conclusion. All the while, a big fight is kind of ramping up and we see that with this new group of characters who seem to have some super soldier serum and are using it to unravel the world in their own way. And it's talked about again with the blip and how things haven't gone back to the same and they shouldn't go back to the same and that the world should be divided into tribes and everybody should be out for themselves and it really is a mess. Now the interesting part, and this is an ending explained video, so let's talk about that ending. And that is Captain America is gone. Falcon gave the shield away because he didn't want to say goodbye to his hero and this was actually explained during a press junket where we were actively there and we were talking with both Sebastian Stan and Anthony Mackie about why isn't it that they are taking up this mantle and it's because they don't want to say goodbye to this character, Captain America. They were huge fans of him as well. So we see that Sam returns the shield to the Smithsonian because it deserves to be an honorable item and there's this whole Captain America memorabilia there and okay, cool, he turned away the shield, that's fine. Well, at the end of the episode, and as no surprise to us, the shield was given to none other than US agent 
who will now be the new symbol of America, Captain America. Now, obviously, there's going to be a huge problem with all this, and we've heard from a lot of different leaks and rumors that it's going to have to do with John Walker, who is U.S. agent, not necessarily having control of his actions, and honestly and genuinely wanting to do good. But we see at the very end there that he was given the shield and he is the new symbol. And when Sam saw this, obviously he was a little concerned and very upset. Up to this point, Sam and Bucky are not together and they haven't interacted, although it is mentioned that Sam reaches out to Bucky, but Bucky doesn't call him. And Bucky is dealing with the ghost of his past, as we see very specifically. He's trying to make amends with all these people who he has wronged or who have wronged him so he can move on and have a regular life. He even says, I used to be the Winter Soldier, but now I'm just Bucky Barnes' regular guy. But obviously what's going to happen when all of this U.S. government setup goes awry, Bucky and Sam are going to join forces in order to figure out what exactly is going on with this new Captain America U.S. agent. So all in all, this episode I found to be very amazing. It's very MCU, very Marvel-esque, and definitely has that really cool, awesome action mystery sense that we are very used to from the Marvel Cinematic Universe throughout the first 10, 11 now years of them creating the Infinity Saga and all of that action. And since we have two very classic original characters here, it only makes sense and is fitting that we get to more of that original feel. Now, obviously, I loved WandaVision. I thought it was very, very good, but it didn't have those same Marvel characteristics and qualities that have that action-packed, super fighting moments, and here's the mystery of who's the bad guy and what's going on, and it's very classic, but it's also very comforting, and it's great to see. And the writers and the director for this show have done such a good job of picking us up into this new phase of Marvel and giving us some of that reminiscent feeling of an old Marvel film or TV show in this sense. So overall, very excited to see where the next five episodes go. They say they have six hours total. This first one is 45 minutes, so more episodes coming, and they're going to get longer, and they're going to get better, and there's going to be more action. We've seen on a lot of trailers, Zemo's involved, and a lot of other characters will be coming, and we'll be getting a lot of pleasant surprises, I think, throughout the series. And I do personally believe, and this is my own personal theory at this point, that Sam Wilson, Falcon, will end up maintaining picking up and becoming the Captain America for the rest of the United States and for the rest of the world to be that protector and to take up that space. But of course, we're going to have to wait and see what happens in the remaining five episodes. Let me know what you guys thought about this in the comment section down below. What was your favorite part? What are you hoping to see in future episodes? And of course, what's your personal thought and feelings on this first episode? As always, thank you to everybody who watched till the very end of the video. If you found it helpful, useful, or entertaining, be sure to hit that subscribe button, turn on the notification bell, and check me out on Twitter. TikTok and Discord so that you can stay up to date on all major movie and television news happenings across the world. And for now, this has been another great episode of Cosmic Culture.